everybody. Ken is here to show us how to give an old dresser new life. Right, Ken? And not yes, only I that, am. You're going to help us make another check off the old spring fever bucket list. Yes, we are repurposing old furniture. There we, we go. Uh, this time of year, things are coming and going, trying to clean stuff up. It's a good time to give your room a new look, and this is a very easy, inexpensive way to do it. Really? Is it easy? Yeah. For sure? It is so I can easy. Do it? You can do it. All right. Because, I, I, by the way, I love where we're going with this. Okay, so what's the first thing that we need to know here? Well, let's start off with our dresser. So I have okay. just a plain white dresser. Um, that you know you've had it forever or it's been in the garage or it was in the old nursery or where have you fine 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 it's fine it is fine. lacking some pizzazz lacking some interest but we're gonna go from fine to a few steps a up. fine to fabulous and in order to do that we're gonna use some fabric so what type exactly of fabric should we be looking for to so what we're gonna be doing is actually decoupaging the front of the dresser drawers and okay. any fabric will do um, okay. I've got like a spring floral here but what's great about this project is you could get a like let's say if you have a, a comforter or curtains. Buy an extra comforter, cut the extra comforter up, so all of a sudden your dresser matches your bedspread, Hello. your drapes, can, so it all can sort of coordinate, or sort of, and it's inexpensive, so you can get that pop of color, and next year, if you're tired of it, you can do it all over again. That's Look at you, idea. you like the whole coordinating. We're going coordinating. With okay, so you so we've got fabric. our fabric. How big, just a little bigger than the, than a the few inches bigger. Okay. Um, if you want to unscrew you the rest it. of that there. Um, there we go. And I find that like you don't want anything too heavy and you don't want anything too light. So a fabric ideally that's sort of right in between. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna get a, a decoupage medium. Any okay. decoupage medium will do. I have some right there. I'm okay, using very Mod good. Podge here, okay, but I'll any hold of the it. brands will do. Go ahead, dip that in. Okay. And what we're gonna do Start is going? just slather that right okay. all over the top. There you go. Um, and this is one of those things, be as you can be a little thick. You don't want to be shy with the amount you use. Well, it's a good point because I would have gone a little bit on the thinner side as far as coverage because I wouldn't want it to kind of uh, bulge out a little bit. You know how sometimes that happens? Well, the thing is this dries clear so you're not going to see it. Okay. And this is basically your glue. So at home, really all decoupage medium is. All the way around the edges? Just, or just, just on the top. Just on the top. You okay, can make boom. that decision on if you want to wrap it or not. Okay. I wanted a clean look, so I'm just going to do it at the top. Very good. Um, folks at home, all decoupage medium is. Is, is white glue. Um, so you could even get your standard household glue, mix it with a little water, and that would be your decoupage medium. So we laid that on as easy as that, and then press it down with your fingers. Smooth out your creases, get rid of your bubbles, and that you can feel it coming through to your hand. Yeah, you can. You want enough on it. The thicker your fabric, the more you're going to want to use as a bottom layer. Got it. Because um, you, can... you want it to seep through your fabric, because this is really going to sort of become one with the fabric. And I thought it would be tough to get the wrinkles out, but really you just kind of move them off to the sides. And they well, if you did it correctly, there wouldn't be any wrinkles to begin with, like my side. Wow. <laughs> Why do I set myself up for all these? Like, I, I didn't have to say anything. You probably wouldn't have known that there was wrinkles on my there side. There we go. All right. And thanks for calling me out. Okay, great. Now, once you've done that, you're going to do the exact same thing again on top. More decoupage medium. Okay. All right. And you're going to put that, and this is really going to seal it right okay. on top. Okay, beautiful. Again, be liberal with it. Um, get it all over, and a nice stiff brush. And if you're using, like, let's say you're using a heavy fabric, a canvas, or a burlap, you really want to work that brush so it's getting down in all of those okay. crevices and Good. pores of the fabric. And we let that dry, yep. and it had, like you say, it has a uh, clear coat right. on it, essentially. Exactly, but you will see the texture. So when you have it all on there, Go over it one last oh. time to get it all smooth because you will see those brush strokes. Okay, that's good to know. And then just sit up and let that dry. Okay. We've got one we did earlier today. Yes. Take this guy out. Exactly. And as you see, completely clear, completely yeah. smooth, and a hard finish. So and now. Clearly, I didn't do this side because there's no wrinkles. <laughs> You still, I'm st it's, it's still affected me a little bit. So now what you're going to do is trim it. And I okay. found that the easy way to trim it is to get an um, utility knife, an exacto, whatever you have, and just run it straight down the edge here. Whoopsie. Straight, let me get this right, straight down the edge here. And what that's going to give, give you is this nice sort of clean edge. Let me put that off there. Oh, look at right that. Right like that, as easy as that. I found that that's much easier than using scissors or anything like that. Just use your finger as a guide right down the whole way. Now, you could, if you wanted to, get fancy and go ahead and fold it under. Um, I find it easier just to trim it nice and clean. I, I, I like as this As easy look. as that. I actually prefer the look of this myself. I think it's much cleaner. You don't have to worry about the drawer clearing clearance when it goes into the edge. Right, so, we do that all the way around. And then the we around. actually uh, apply the polyacrylic, right? 
Yeah, you could stop there, and that will actually give you a certain amount of durability. But I like because you are opening and closing it, do a, a coat of polyacrylic on top, and that'll make it super durable. It's because, you know, fingerprints and in and out. Polyacrylic is better than polyurethane. I was gonna ask. Polyacrylic does not yellow. So oh. you won't change the color of your fabric. Um, and it's also water-based, so it's very easy to wash off. You don't need. Man. And okay. there we have it. That's it. Um, now you want to use those uh, muscles of use for some good yeah. and actually put well, that into the... It's so heavy, everybody, you know, really. You may not be good at uh, laying down fabric, but putting wow. in drawers. Let me make sure I get this in right, Ken. <laughs> Is it rolling? Already done Just the other like two. That. And there you go. Look at that. Wow. All of a sudden, it looks like this custom piece of furniture, and really it costs six bucks worth of fabric Fantastic. and a four-buck thing of uh, Mod Podge. Let's see the before one more time real quick. Oh, my goodness. From look fine. at that. To fabulous. You, that's you. That's you. I know, I Ken. I know you. I'm, I'm watching you with that fruit, too. I don't know if you're going to start throwing fruit around. That's what I thought it was coming. <laughs> Go to HallmarkChannel.com for full instructions.